All right. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Ben Dixon here with our special guest, Joe, we'll be introducing in a moment. Welcome to MLM Monday. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about how companies still use physical print media, shirts, cards, and getting started packs with their members today. If you're just joining us on MLM Monday, be sure to dial in right here as you're, you're here on Facebook Live joining the session. Be sure to comment here right inside of the, the comments here on Facebook where you're watching from today, okay? We know you guys watch from all over the world. Love connecting with you. And once again, if you have questions or you have thoughts as you're watching uh, the video today as the sh in the show, post them in the comments. Like and share and post. But guys, I'm so excited to introduce you uh, today to my friend Joe Bowie because Joe is one of those uh, best kept secrets in my mind in the direct selling industry. You know, um, My team, we get to work building you know, commission engines and marketing systems for MLMs all over the world and party plan companies and direct sales companies. And Joe is one of the largest, uh, his family is one of the largest print vendors uh, in the state of Arizona. And they service a whole bunch of different direct selling companies with print materials. And I'm excited to talk about some of the ways people are using print today that's really working. So Joe, thank you so much for taking some time to join me on the call here. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me on, Ben. Uh, this is so cool. So Joe and I were connecting last week. This is what prompted the call. We were talking about how we were helping the client uh, with some of their print materials. And it, it just made sense that he should be the guest here on M1 Monday. We were talking about the ways people are using print today. And one of them that's just really big is product sampling. So as some of you who watch the show know, a lot of the clients we work with use product samples to get people interested in their, whether it's a nutritional product or whether it's a, something that you're using that's uh, gonna help you with vitamins, whatever it is, or skincare, they use product sampling. And one of the things that I was talking about with Joe is one of the best things you can do with a product sample isn't just to send the product out, it doesn't include like a card uh, with it that has instructions not just on how to use your product, but then what to do next. So Joe, what, what's some of the stuff that you see a lot of times with kind of the, the takeaways and keep alongs that people put in with a product sample these days? Uh, yeah, that's right. You know, with the product samples, what we're seeing is that a lot of pieces are going out with personalized data uh, so that when the recipient's re receiving it, they feel special. They may have a unique offer code, which is going to allow them to have something um, in terms of a discount or an additional add-on when they order from their distributor website. Um, also, when you're sending these out, it's trackable 100%. Even the USPS is doing this now. And so the distributor, when they send these out, they're getting notifications all throughout the way. Hey, your product's on its way. Your product's been received. And so they know exactly when to reach out to their prospect. You know, this is so cool, too, because you want to give them the next step. Right, Joe, like we yep. give the process, we always give distributors the next steps all the time, right? We're always really good at thinking about, oh, what does the distributor need to do? So we, we send them a text or an email, hey, exactly. call, call Joanna, it arrived on her doorstep. But, but, but what do we do for Joanna, right? The woman who's opened the product. I, I, I find this mistaken, it's, it's so interesting when people forget to have like a little card of, hey, congrats, thanks for ordering from me, right? Exactly. This is how you actually use this, right? You, oh, you open up a cap and you put it on for three days in a row. This is what you should expect. And simple things like I've had a couple of clients, Joe, I, I love this, where they say, um, take a picture, like take a picture of your face now and then take a picture of your face five days later. Mm -hmm. or, or where they say, um, take a picture now and later and then post it with hashtag blah, blah, blah results. Right? Exactly. Oh. Exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. huge right now. Social media, incorporating the print. Uh, you're exactly right, Ben. Having the instructions there tracking it all the way through being able to coach the distributors that's what the direct mail is all about um it's something that i think that some other forms of communication it just doesn't have the same effects you know where with direct mail you have the sample try before you buy the before and afters are really powerful especially when you're talking about uh, makeup especially when you're talking about cosmetics things like that absolutely it's just and, and so just make sure you include literature with it um, the, yep. second, the, the second thing we were talking about today is we, we get this argument all the time uh, with, with folks, and I'm happy to have Joe here because I know he'll be on one side of it for sure, and some of you are going to be on totally other end. This, this, the, the getting started packs, right, is when a new uh, distributor, or ambassador, or affiliate gets started in your company, should it be a digital-only kit that they get? Should they get something in print? What's relevant today? Because years ago, Joe, this is where the argument's from, years ago people would buy these really expensive uh, getting started packs that would be full of different papers and samples and all sorts of stuff and they'd say well how much is the distributor really using 
out of that pack, right? Mm -hmm. And then so people would skim it all the way down to no pack, right? Nothing physical that mm -hmm. someone gets when they're when they're brand new in the company. And so what are you seeing today that you're getting feedback on where you say, hey, that's relevant, that's still effective when it comes to a, a brand new distributor or ambassador getting started in a company? Yeah, I, you know, I would say that it, it's both. Um, when you're doing the communications, you want to have a multi-communications approach. And so when you're getting the distributor kit, it's so important to have that tangible, that physical brochure or the getting started manual where they're touching and they're feeling. That's part of the experience of the brand, not just delivering it digitally where mm -hmm. really it's hard to have that same impact um, when you're coming across online as opposed to seeing some special finishes to the paper, it really, I think, solidifies and confirms their purchase. Well, besides the brochure, though, what are the things that you're seeing people are including today that are actually making a difference in their packs? Yeah, product brochures for sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, those are, those are the, the items that I think you're always going to have to have um, leave behind so that they can see, you know, what is this product all about? They're not going to always, you know, two, three hours later go on online and say, oh, what is this about? If they, if they have it in front of their hands, they put it on the desk, they're going to see it. So that, that's pretty much what we're seeing there. I mean, a lot of the stuff that you've seen uh, back in the day, they're still pretty tried and true. I, I, I would say, especially when you're coming to a uh, party plan, mm -hmm. those are the items that they're, they're going to want to have right in front of them. They're not all going to have iPads, laptops, things like that. It really also detracts from the whole experience as well. Well, and, and party plans, it's, it's interesting you bring up party plan because that's a much different animal for most of us than, than MLM or direct selling oh, as yeah. an approach yep. to selling, right? So yep. in party plan, for sure, I see clients of party plan doing lookbooks like, like crazy all the time, right? Exactly. They'll heavily using lookbooks as a tool and as an effective tool um, in party plan. And a lot of the social stuff we do or online tools we do are to get more people to those physical parties and to close more afterwards, right? So yeah. we still we still definitely use the party a lot in those companies. The thing I think that's interesting is, is that part of, um, you know, in the starter kit of what I'm actually going to do with it. Like I'll, I'd encourage again, the thing that I'm seeing once again, that I think makes a big difference is just like you did the card and the sample to show Joanna how to use the sample. Oh, yeah. I think in your starter kit, you got to have a little quick card, right? Oh, yeah. Of steps one, two, three, four, five, right? Right there. And, and many of those will be go online. It'll be go set this up. And, and so that when they get it, they can look and say, okay, I can do this. I'm going to follow the recipe. It's yep. just such a big difference. Yeah, they can put it in their wallet. They can hang it up on the fridge. Something that they're always going to see right in front of their face in the bathroom mirror. Wake up, get that inspiration, do those items, and you know that if you do these items, uh, you're going to be successful at it. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, this is just so great. It, Joe, I, there's one other topic I want to grab while I have you here today, just for a short time that I want to share with everybody. And it's the, it's, it's the topic of swag, of clothes, of both oh, the yeah. polos and the t-shirts and the hats. I, I love it when people are plugging into their company, they're getting started, and then they're wearing some swag because so many people, we're in a selfie culture, right, where they're showing their product, <laughs> popping selfies. And it's awesome when they have the shirts with the woody, with the, the, the woody stuff, whether it's a hashtag for the company or whether it's a hashtag for their goals, whatever that is. What, yep. what, are, what are some of the things you're seeing? Because you, you see what's actually selling to what people are using and buying again and again since you run a lot of the print portals. So what are some of the swag pieces you see that are making a difference for the customers today? Yeah, so a lot of distributors, what they want to do is they want to be able to communicate that they're a professional business. And so a lot of those items are going to be, not only are you having the business cards, but you're going to have a polo as well. Let's just mm -hmm. say you're at an event, you need to have some banner stands, tablecloths, um, you need mm -hmm. to have some pop-up banners, things that you put up on the table to just confer some sort of, um, let's say, legitimacy to what you're doing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You don't want to just come up to a booth and you say, oh, you know, this guy threw something together. If you're part of a real business, you're going to have invested in it. And yeah. so all of the products, all of the items that you're displaying, even on yourself, they need to kind of speak that as well. You know, I love that because it is more than just wearing a hat and taking a selfie on social media many times. A lot of folks we see today who are in party plan businesses or direct sales businesses are going to trade shows. They are going to these other public events or even far local farmer's markets. I see it all the time here and even here in Chicago, people showing up at farmer's markets with little booths and grabbing a tablecloth or grabbing something like that make, can make all the difference for them. Is there just to get someone to stop, you know, enough curiosity to stop. And then plug them into whatever your system is. You know, we, I was just on the phone uh, with a client uh, who's launched a brand new direct sales company earlier today. And we were just talking about how 
their corporate team goes out and does these events all the time and, and brings leads to their members. And so it's the, it's the same thing for the members as them is at those, whether they have a, you know, a tablecloth out and product and all that, what they're doing at those events though is they're still using their online systems. Like a lot of stuff we build, people will come in and they'll get them entered into a platform so that they're in a CRM, they're in an autoresponder, but they were able to use that physical print stuff to grab attention and exactly. curiosity. And that's the whole difference. Why, why I'm so excited about the work you do, Joe. You've been providing, uh, Joe provides these private label uh, designs, these designed out stores for a lot of our clients who want their distributors to be able to order tablecloths and other pieces like that. And it's, it's exciting when we see these campaigns roll up because whether someone is you know, just that personality and has always built with going to physical events or whether they're online and they just want to brand even their room when they're doing Facebook lives and stuff like that, it mm -hmm. all fits with having a resource like that. And, and that's why you got to, you, it, and it's, it's not expensive to put that together folks anymore. It used, there used to be these huge barriers to entry to having your own print store put together for your direct selling company. And Joe and the others have, have done some incredible stuff for clients of ours. And if you send me a message here on, on the, on the next fan page, for the MLM Monday, I will more than happy to connect you to Joe and those resources for your group. But Joe, I want to thank you so much for uh, being here on the show today and just talking about what print is relevant today. I, I hope that folks get it and no one ever sends out a sample again without a contact card in it. I, <laughs> no grievous sins, right? Now that you know, folks, you can't do it, right? So, isn't, it, isn't it funny? Like when you didn't know, you didn't know you were breaking it, but now you know. So now you, know. Now you got to do better. So that's what it's all about. We want you guys to get results and that's why we do the show. That's why we wake up every day to serve our clients. I know I've known Joe for uh, over a year and I know he operates just like um, the rest of my team here. We don't ever sell stuff to sell stuff. We really look through your needs and what's going to actually make a difference in your life. And that's what we put together. I love yep. doing that. But Joe, I want to thank you so much for taking some time to be on the show today. Have a wonderful time in Arizona. Stay cool. And for everyone else, who is watching from all over the world, go out there and make a difference this week, guys. It, I mean, this is your time. Thank you, folks. Have a blessed day. Bye for now.